Welcome back, my horde. So, if you haven't already noticed, um, this probably sounds a little different than normal. And if you haven't already noticed as well, um, this episode's a little shorter. The reason for both those things is I'm recording this audio off my phone. The reason for that is apparently I didn't turn my headset on. So, yeah, I didn't record audio. And I did this for a few episodes. I think three is what I did it for. Maybe more. So, uh, my argument was, do I not release these at all? Or do I do, like, a quick, like, shoving them all together? And I was going back and forth between it, and I came up with this option, which is, I'm going to record my audio while watching it back. And try to tell you as much as I can. And I decided doing it double speed is probably the best. Um, yeah. So, at this point in time, I'm... We're showing you guys that uh, I'm still working on moisture pumps. And that I'm... I believe I saw John laying on the ground. And I was like, why are you laying on the ground, John? Don't you have a bedroom? And that's when I find out that they never worked on his bedroom. So, I start working on that. Uh, yeah, this there was quite a bit of just not a lot happening. And a lot of, like, random stuff. Like, they mined the junk out of the place. I think I got one of the... Like, I think that person right there, it just became, like, a super miner. And was just mining everything. Which was really good. Like, I went in between one of the episodes and literally found every uh, item on the map. There was, like, plasteel, compacted machinery was, like, everywhere. I even found a couple of steel nodes I didn't even know about. Um, yeah, that prisoner just basically uh, got into a fight with John there. And then John was refusing to, like, help them for a bit there. But, nonetheless, he was more worried about himself than the prisoner. Um, but, yeah, so there was even gold on the map. So I had them all go after that. I even make them go after this uh, section of steel nearby eventually and expand the base even further. But I won't get too ahead of myself. At least I'll try not to. You know. Oh, yeah, and then just th this prisoner uh, has a mental break, and she just shoots him instead of punching him. I'm like, oh, well, thanks. I guess that's going to be... And then gets her butt kicked by a uh, companion. She, like, insulted him, calling his brother a hummingbird, I believe. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to be trying to get to it here in a second. Yeah, it's what it says on the screen. Hummingbird. So she, like, referred to his brother as a hummingbird. So he punched her out. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Right after you kill a prisoner, you get upset and call someone else a hummingbird. Oh, uh, man. Sometimes these pawns. But, um, so now I'm thinking maybe I should do these quicker. Because I'm really running out of stuff to say. It's a lot harder to do these... Uh, afterwards, because, one, I don't remember what really happened in what episode. I record these in such a large batch that literally these all form together as one giant one for me. Like, I was talking to someone, I think either Chris or Tammy about this, and like, I'm like, oh, hey, so this was, you know, I think it was Tammy, to be fair, but she was saying how she watched this episode and this happened, and I'm like, oh, yeah, and this? She's like, no, no. I'm like, huh? And then I realized that that's the next episode. It's just it all, like, formed into one. But I finished John's room up. I believe at some point, again, jumping ahead of myself. Oh, um, but, uh, I'll stop jumping ahead for now. I'm starting to build like, the kill box properly there. I think it's a better idea if we just move everything around. So that way it's a hallway and then another hallway. At least make it a little bit more difficult. And then I'm going to be adding another room in that general area. 
which is where I start actually going, hey, maybe I should check the distance of it. And I realize it's going to be there. And yeah, make another room. I make another room on the other side later on. Again, jumping ahead of myself, but... Um, and yeah, like I was saying before about jumping ahead of myself, uh, the kid's room up there, I think it's Zach, I could be wrong. Uh, his bed, I didn't realize it at the time, but his bed isn't made of proper quality. So eventually they'll tear it down. They tear it down, then forget to build it. So... Oh yeah, the kid. For some reason, the uh, the kid was going into the prison. I uh, accidentally had the baby on the set to the wrong one. I realized that afterwards, and I go, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's the baby uh, lockdown." And then they all got sick, so we had to pull them all. I think it was the flu, but uh, truthfully, I wasn't paying enough attention just a few moments ago. And yeah, um. I run into the problem a couple times with uh, the food situation. Just food for this campaign, or this series, I guess, was just a pain in the ass for me. Like, for some reason, I just kept always running into the problem that every time I went to go do something with food, I'd either be running low or just couldn't output enough. I think what the problem was is that because I f eventually fixed the problem. I eventually uh, believe that one of the huge problems was that the animals were eating the food. And the animals were eating two or three meals in a sitting. Rather than just one. And due to that, I w was like, you know... Uh, f it was like having another like four or five colonists. At the very least. I never checked to see exactly how much. Right here, I'm just sacrificing one of the people trying to get rid of them. They're all done, and, and I'm done having prisoners at this point. John is obviously still sleeping due to the fact that not having a bed kind of uh, makes you more tired. You don't sleep as well. So, yeah. I'm not even close to being done with this video. I may have to speed the next one up even more. I don't want to do it yet because I'm already uh, part of the way through this one, but me explaining certain things to you guys in this one could probably uh, buffer out the uh, time that this one's going. And yeah, I know I have to cut a little bit of uh, audio. I went to go, uh, I can't remember what I was doing just a few moments ago. Oh, right. I had to go turn off the actual audio to the act uh, my speakers because I oopsied and... Um, have everything running through my speakers right now. I usually have uh, it running through my headset, but I watched a video with Tammy last night. So yeah, I'm just uh, great that I was getting rid of the embrasures because they went a little longer than I wanted them to. Now, anyway, um, and yeah, just it's a bunch of like actual just straight out maintenance. I'm surprising. I'm surprised at how much uh, stones they were going through too. There, I'm realizing that I need to build a um, micro electronics bench. I thought I had one. I was like, "What the heck?" And I'm like, "Oh, hey, no, I don't." And then I'm like, uh, "Can you break this?" Uh, I was gonna break it down, like, you know, disassemble it. And I'm like, "No, I really have to tell someone to do this because they will never do this. Like, they're so slow at it." So that's where I get this. I'm gonna now grab. Um, I'm making sure that Ram's the one I want to use. Because she's awesome. So, that's what that was. Uh, I got an orbital trade. I just want more components. And I get rid of some of the guns. I think I accidentally sell... Uh... I'm trying to actually see. I don't know if I accidentally sell his gun. So that's what I'm waiting here for. Yeah, I accidentally sold one of the guy's guns there. I didn't realize until afterwards what happened. He went down because he was sick. And had not got up yet to go grab his gun. And I just sold it. So, 
for a while there, he doesn't have a gun. I actually question at one point and give him a revolver instead. But yeah, I'm trying to work on moisture pumps. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys there. Because if I can get moisture pumps done, I can um, start claiming that other area. Which I, you know, almost do. By the end of all my recordings. So yeah. Like I said, this is what's going to be the worst part about doing the double, like the voice over here. So next time I will have to push it maybe to, I'll try 300, uh, 300%. This is 200% faster. So I'll 300% it and if it still feels like it's dragging out, I'll 400% the next one. I don't know if I'll go much further than that. That's me going to put uh, flooring down and realizing that there's moisture there, so it won't let me. And then these doorways didn't have anything. It was kind of bugging me, so I just went around and started putting concrete in all of them. But yeah, that's the extent of what happened in this episode. I don't think much else happened. I don't know if this is the episode or the next one, so that's why I'm not saying certain things. That's what one of the problems is, is that I don't really want to watch this three times. Here's me sacrificing another prisoner, get rid of them. We don't need um, any favor. That's me actually realizing it right there. We actually don't need any favor. It's just why not get rid of them? We don't need the uh, food and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's go for the last one. Now, hold on. I actually want to see something here. So, yeah, I just looked at it. When I actually checked the uh, altar, I actually didn't notice it the first time. I don't notice it until four or five episodes later that I can actually awaken a Cthulhu. And I guess with that information, I should kind of tell you that this series does have an end. Um, I do have a, a question for you guys when the last video comes out. And I will be making a... Oh, this is me actually going around grabbing all the uh, compacted machinery and all that stuff. Like There's just huge amounts of steel right there. And right there. But there is a question I have for you guys at the very end of this. And that was also me, I think, deciding that I'll wait until between episodes before I grab everything else. So when you get to that video, um, try to answer the question. And it will determine on what happens with this series. Because, uh, yeah. It just, it's just, I feel like the series was coming to a close, personally. I know it's not many episodes in this series, but if you guys want... Oh, this is me realizing that the Death of Citifiers have come back. Somehow, two of the people have their Death of Citifiers back. And I was like, how? So, I removed them. Anyway. Um, actually, I'll give you guys the options now, as well, and I'll give you guys the options in the other seri uh, other episodes as well, that I have to dub over, just that way you guys do have um, the ability to think about it over the next couple of weeks and comment below. I find that uh, you guys, oh, this is them accidentally building a roof here, so I was like, no, stop it. Because um, one of the people were getting heat stroke when they were using the crematorium. So, I uh, wanted to make sure that they didn't get heat stroke, so I put vents in. And this is me finally expanding that other side. So, the question I had was, do you guys want me to continue the series? When you guys get to the very end, you know, do you want me to continue and just um, pretend like the, the event I summon doesn't happen? which is Awakening Cthulhu. just doesn't happen. Do you guys want me just to end this series completely? 
Uh, do you guys want me to um, take over, like, do a time jump where I'm 20 years into the future, so that way everyone gets older and stuff like that? I won't actually record any of it. I think I'll just, like, put, uh, like play it hard um, for, you know, like, uh, faster speed, and I also will um, probably put it on a lower difficulty. So that way, less things will spawn, and I can get through it quicker. So I can see I'm times five more often, or times three more often. Um, or do you want me just to make a new series where I start as tribesman, and we have the daughter being the new cult leader? So, those are your options. I also, well, I'm getting attacked by cats. And that's, uh, the person never defended themselves because they're set to ignore. That's actually what I figure out right here. I'm like, oh yeah, they're set to ignore. Whoops. Um. Because yeah, I could always have the daughter being the new leader. And just like starting like when she's 20. Uh, her, uh, at her own cult and her own tile with nothing. Maybe this is some of the tech, but that's about it. But yeah, think about it. So until next time, cultists, hail Cthulhu.